Oh, hi everyone. This is Karen at Friends Babes. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about um, a blog post that I've been following, uh, KelseyBrowning.com. She has been doing a review, a, well actually a Get Organized Challenge since the beginning of the year, and she's following a book by Jennifer Berry called Organize Now. And um, I've been following along. I've gotten a little bit behind, but it's the great thing about it is that there's little small things each week to do. So if you haven't started, you could start now and just do one thing per week or just do a couple things um like three things each week and catch up to what she is um, blogging about and I really like it because it's clean and clear and concise and she's a great writer so I've really been enjoying following her blog post but um, the last couple things I um, my last blog post we left off at I believe week three so week three is organizing your scheduling book um, your schedule and that's always been a challenge for me I end up with so many notes and uh, Kelsey had a really great um, idea that she uses and I, the main thing is just to find something that works for you and but I have adopted this and I'm finding that it works really great so I have a calendar book and um, she talked about putting just putting your to-dos in your calendar book and long-term things that might go into the next week on a post-it note and then you can just tie these resealable ones that stick and come off and then I can just move it to the next week if I don't get it done so actually it's been working really great for me my um, calendar book is a lot neater and cleaner and I'm finding things a lot better so I found that, that works really well so thanks Kelsey for the tip and then this week we are talking about cleaning and I um, I love to have a clean house, but I, over the years, I've just gotten kind of bored with cleaning and, um, you know, it's sometimes hard to find time to um, get everything just the way you want it. So she has some great tips, but on how to kind of get organized cleaning and one thing is to put it into your schedule. So I've tried that last week. It worked for one day. Um, the rest of the week kind of went out the door, but um, I'll be trying that again for the rest of the year. I love to do um, other projects rather than just laundry, dishes, that type of stuff, and tackle a couple um, things that have just been on my list to do, to um, like deep cleaning, kind of start my spring cleaning a little bit early. But one of the things is um, this rail here has been bothering me for quite some time and I have tried cleaning it so many times with different cleaners and it hasn't worked and that's one thing that Friends Faves is about is about sharing different tips um, different things that we love with our friends and my friend Marie actually suggested this and I tried it and it actually works really really great uh, she suggested these little Mr. Clean magic erasers I know a lot of you have used these on different things but on painted surfaces it works really fantastic and all you have to do is get your your little uh, magic eraser uh, damp and then just wipe and all that dirt comes right off I'm hoping that you can see it but it's all on the magic eraser now and so I took this around to all my, a lot of my painted walls uh, we moved into a house where there was young kids living in it so there was lots of um, different marks uh, from pens and crayons and just you know from kids playing and uh, it cleaned everything up so nicely so if you um, have some things that you need cleaned up uh, try these little magic erasers they work really great just love it and I love it having it all nice and clean and pretty so hope that helps you guys out and uh, we'll be continuing with some of the other um, organizing tips from Kelsey um, next time hope to see you here bye now this is friends babes and I'm Karen